Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about building your own perfect capsule wardrobe. And while I do think you probably can't ever actually obtain perfection when it comes to a capsule wardrobe, I do think you can get pretty close. Now there are so many different options that you can take when it comes to building your own capsule. You can decide to do it for a month or a season or for two seasons, autumn, winter or spring, summer, depending on where you live and your climate and also how frequently you want to be cycling through your clothing. So you could be trying Project 333, the 30 for 30 wardrobe challenge. Caroline from Unfancy, she did a 37 item capsule from memory and then otherwise you could also and uh, putting together something yourself which really just suits your lifestyle and works best for you. Personally, I'm going to be creating my own capsule based on 30 items. This does not include gym slash workout gear, underwear, um, accessories, bags or shoes. I find that that's kind of the perfect or magic number for me. I work in a creative industry. It's not necessarily what I would call a corporate office. You can get away with wearing off the shoulder tops. It's very, very relaxed. However, I can't really turn up in something like sweatpants and a sweater, you know? So I do have to make sure that I'm presenting myself in a manner that is professional, but I can have a little bit of fun with it too. So let's get started. Step one, assess your wardrobe. If you haven't done this before, I think it's a really great opportunity to go through everything, get rid of anything that you don't love, that doesn't fit you, or that you don't wear at all, it doesn't suit you, and just start afresh, start anew. Make sure that everything that you have is things that you love and that you feel really confident and feel really good wearing. I've actually done a video on how to cull your wardrobe, so I will drop that somewhere down here below so that you can check that out just in case you haven't done it before and you're a little bit stuck on where to begin. I find that this really helps to narrow the focus of your closet. You'll probably start to see that there's a common theme. It'll help you to narrow down your personal style and you should end up having a really cohesive closet as it is and then just need to get a few things to build on it to have the perfect wardrobe. Step two, pick your color palette. I have seen so many capsule wardrobes out there which are pretty much black, grey and white and I do not think that capsule wardrobes have to be limited to those colours. A capsule wardrobe doesn't have to be boring and I think if you love bright colours and you love wearing patterns then you shouldn't stop when it comes to building a capsule wardrobe. You just need to be really smart about how you incorporate that into your capsule for the three months or one month that you have ahead of you. I've actually done a post on how to create a color palette for your capsule wardrobe so I'll drop that down below for you if you guys are having a little bit of trouble but I do really think that having a little bit of color in there really helps to break things up and it can definitely make things a little bit more fun and kind of stop a capsule feeling really stale at about the two month mark because trust me when I say that has happened to me. Typically, I find the best thing to do is to have three or four base shades and then three to five complementary shades that all work really well together. And probably what you'll notice after you've actually gone through and assessed your wardrobe is that you'll have a color scheme running through it already. So that can be really great to work off that. And I actually find that that can come to benefit you because if you're drawn to specific colors, they probably really suit your skin tone and you also just enjoy wearing them. And really you wanna make sure that your capsule wardrobe is working with you and for you rather than against you. Step three is to start with the essentials. So take a moment to think about what pieces make up your day-to-day -day look. What is it that you just don't think you could live without for a month or three months or six months? What are you always wearing? What activities are you going to be doing? Where are you going? Who are you going to be doing it with? What is the weather going to be like? You really need to take all of those things into consideration when you're planning it out. So I've actually just recently posted my autumn capsule wardrobe and things for me that are absolutely essential are a great skirt, a merino sweater, be it a skivvy or a crew neck. I love having a silk tank in every single one of my capsules because Sydney's pretty warm so I usually need to wear those. A nice pair of trousers, I always have to have a jacket in there, quite often it's my leather jacket but I do love a good trench as well. I just really go for those timeless pieces. Maybe what you love isn't necessarily what is considered timeless, but if it's something that you love and that you always are reaching for, then you should definitely be including it in your capsule wardrobe. 
Step four is to break it down into categories. So if you're having a bit of trouble trying to decide how many tops you should include, how many sweaters, skirts, trousers, jackets, dresses, so on, I would recommend keeping a diary for two weeks and writing down everything that you wear, what it is that you've been doing, and then using that as a guide to actually build your capsule. I won't lie when I say I do think this is probably the most difficult part. It kind of feels like a little bit of a science, which is why I really do think it is helpful to keep a track of everything that you've been wearing. Personally, I do work in an office. I'm not a freelancer, so I do need to incorporate that into my capsule. And I know that I'm going to be spending five days out of the seven in the office. So I need to reflect that in my capsule. My typical breakdown is 30% weekend wear, 20 to 30% multi-purpose wear. So these are things that I would either wear to work or that I could also wear in the weekend and 40 to 50% for solely work wear. Depending on your lifestyle, where you work, what it is that you do with your time, this is going to differ from person to person and no two capsule wardrobes are going to be the same. So it's really important to take stock of your own lifestyle and use that when you're building your capsule and not use just a blanket guide because it's really going to help you and make sure that you're getting the most out of the items that you're choosing. Step five, plan out what's missing. Personally, I don't find that a capsule wardrobe comes together overnight. It does take weeks of planning and then on top of that, you also need to take into consideration that the season is going to change and you might also find that the things that you've included aren't necessarily as versatile as you thought they would be or maybe you'll notice that there are pieces that you wish you'd included but that you hadn't. So what I really recommend doing is perhaps building between 75 and 90% of your capsule and then getting the remaining pieces as the capsule goes along. So you'll see in my own capsule wardrobe video, which I will link below or somewhere up here, that I've gotten about, I wanna say 18 pieces on my 30 piece capsule and I'm hoping to really build in the remaining 12 or 11, however many items it is as the next three months go on, just so I can identify what it is that I need. I do think that once you've got your essentials mapped out, it's a really great opportunity to figure out what it is that you need. And getting inspiration from places like Pinterest or having a go-to uniform can really help you to identify what it is that you think that you're missing. I don't necessarily recommend going out and purchasing everything new. I do think it's a good opportunity to try a few new styles or pick up some staple quality pieces that you don't already have or else perhaps shop your own wardrobe. I've seen so many different capsules where they talk about going out and shopping over a weekend or a week and buying all of the things that you're missing from your capsule for that. And I do not recommend that at all. I find that each designer or brand will bring out pieces as the season goes on and you might end up finding something better down the line and then you'll end up regretting it. While I think the whole point of that is probably to actually stop going into the shops, you really do want to be happy with the pieces you have in your capsule and not settle and buy something just for the sake of it. Step six, know your go-to looks. Probably the biggest benefit to having a capsule wardrobe is that getting ready in the morning is so much faster. I find that I've got such a narrow and really focused selection of clothing to pull from and I know what looks good on me, I know what I want to wear, particularly depending on the weather and it really does help you to get out of the house a lot faster. Having a few go-to outfits or a daily uniform also really helps with this and one thing that I would recommend doing is having a bit of play with all of the items that you've got in your capsule, trying everything on and then perhaps taking a few snaps of the looks that you really like the most. This way you can reference them later on and you know that it's going to be an outfit that you're going to feel really confident and really good in. So those are my six steps to building a capsule wardrobe. It does definitely take a bit of time, it takes a bit of trial and error, but I do think that it's a really, really great way to help you to define your personal style and also to help you minimize your wardrobe and waste. I've actually gone ahead and created a really fun workbook, which I think should help for those of you who are trying to build your perfect capsule wardrobe and I've linked that down below. It's a downloadable PDF. It's something that I spent a lot of time working on and I really hope you guys enjoy it and that you find it helpful and that it's a really great tool to use when it comes to building your own capsule wardrobe. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and that it helps you. If you've got any questions related to capsule wardrobes, do feel free to drop them down below. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. If you did like it, it would be great if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. See you later. Bye.